Quanti has the new record. It's 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 37 seconds. 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 37 seconds. The new record for all main quests. All main quests, not old main quests. All main quests. I painted my nails. Want he show new strategies and higher consistency? My best time is 5 hours and 53 minutes and 53 seconds. It's a pretty significant improvement. Fonti did it by playing well and even doing some new strats. Takamashiri Shrine. There was a really cool strategy that was faster. I was like pretty proud of my strats for Takamashiri, but Fonti just ups the strats. Also, Renew Hanukkah Shrine. Interesting strat used there. Um, even though this run is a substantial improvement, and of course, you know, there's more time to save, obviously, but there's actually some strategies that are recent that have not been utilized. So Zant realized that when you're going for the Hyrule Field Memory and Sacred Ground Ruins and Katachuki Shrine, that you should be able to use tree launches instead of a horse to save time. That seems to definitely be faster, and Huanti did not do that route in his current record. Another idea Zant had had to do with doing stasis launches from Sanadin Park to Tabantha and like through the Tabantha region to Rito um, without riding a horse there, I think, or maybe only a little bit of the way. That's like really new, and so that's like, that could be really good, I'm not sure yet, it's so new. So there's lots to work on still, it seems like s slowly the horse travel's getting eliminated and being replaced by launches, and that's something I just have to come to accept, that this game, when you think about movement in Breath of the Wild, you have to think about it in terms of stasis launching. Stasis launching is a critical aspect of Breath of the Wild, and to not acknowledge that is to have the wrong expectations of what Breath of the Wild speedrunning entails. In other words, you need to be good at stasis launching. Huanti also used the beetle from the plateau to get the um, attack up elixir. I believe I really like the routing, how Mazkoshia is followed by Calamity Ganon. I think that's a, that's like a more exciting way to end the run, I think, rather than going final memory after Mazkoshia. I came up with a new playthrough idea for Breath of the Wild. I call it like a key items playthrough. Basically, in the Breath of the Wild inventory, there's like these different tabs for different types of items, such as clothing or weapons. And these tabs stay grayed out until you collect an item or upgrade the slot with Hestu. And so my idea is to play through as much of the game as possible, effectively a max percent playthrough. If you don't know from speedrunning history, max percent involves obtaining as much as you can under some set of restrictions and for my playthrough the restrictions are to never activate any inventory tab except for key items. Key items is like impossible not to activate considering you need the Sheikah Slate immediately and you get the Paraglider once you want to leave the plateau. There used to be a glitch actually to skip the Sheikah Slate but get outside of the Shrine of Resurrection. I believe that glitch was patched though when they patched the Trial of the Sword glitch, or, or maybe even more recently in Champion's Ballad or something. The playthrough idea I think is quite interesting. I believe the camera is possible. I think you could get the camera by like, getting like a wooden stick or some sort of, yeah like, I think if you, if you brought a minecart in front of a tree, and then blow up the tree with a bomb and it drops a tree branch, and it drops it into your minecart, and then you magnesis the minecart, or or even a or a metal door frame or metal plank or something that you can magnesis that you could hold the the branch on, because you can't pick the branch up. But I think you could 
bring it, I think you could bring a tree branch all the way to Hateno on a magnesis item and then carry it with magnesis all the way to the tech lab and then unlock the camera. I believe it's possible. Other complications involve not having any cold or heat resistance because you can't get any items or clothing. You can, however, obtain hearts and you can slowly upgrade your hearts by completing shrines. There's a striking number of shrines where you don't need anything but the slate. The slate is very useful, so there's a lot you can actually accomplish. So I've been doing it on master mode. I believe that there might be even more restrictions on master mode. I'm not sure if like tests of strength are completable or not. Basically, enemies heal. I forget if the healing ever ends, the master mode healing. Master mode might have less obtainable items than normal mode for this challenge, but I, I just prefer master mode. I think um, you can also get through the cold areas by like almost dying and then saving right before you die. And then after you respawn, you're back where you saved, but you have three hearts. I think I might be able to get to Goron City without fireproof. It might be possible. Just by like saving right before I die and getting a few steps and then saving again and then dying and just like repeating that, it might be possible. So there's a lot to test, it's interesting. Um, I've been having fun with that. But I've also been taking notes on Juan's runs and also I've been paying attention to the new strategies that may get into the run. And I'm decided to, the way I approach Breath of the Wild now is kind of like, I just want to put in a little bit of time each day and just continue to work on it and don't let up, but also don't, I don't need to like totally devote eight hours a day to it. Um, at least right now it feels good to do that. And also breaking up just the speedrun route stuff with some other challenge stuff has been fun as well. I'm sure at some point I'll go on a tangent with like master mode any percent, but Breath of the Wild's been really fun lately. It's been really good. So, so much to do, and it's exciting. And anyway, thanks for listening to my vlog. I'll see you next time, next week.